270 versus 30-06. Is this the best, most versatile hunting cartridge out there? Or is something a little smaller? Maybe better for what you need. Dave and I are going to tackle it on this episode of the Ammunition Guides Podcast. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than Ammo.com. Now, Chris, we've been accused of comparing somewhat incomparable cartridges in the past. It's fair. I think our our 22 short versus 50 BMG podcast comes to mind. We're talking about the 270 win versus the 30-06 Springfield. Honestly, like you said, this is probably one of the closest comparisons that we've done and you know if you like shooting these cartridges if you love your 30-06 or your 270 win make sure you click on that link down in the description or the pinned comment get your $20 off coupon at ammo.com and load up on that 270 or 30-06 but these cartridges are probably the some of the biggest hunting cartridges out there. Man, you know, for non-Magnum cartridges, the, the 30 6 it's like it went through World War I, World War II, Korea, parts of Vietnam, and it just kept going. And even though it's not in military service now, it has transitioned into the hunting role so well. But give, you know, the cartridge a little bit of pause, the 270 Winchester is there as well, that has also really risen in popularity uh, for a hunting cartridge. I think right there is, is one of the main distinctions is the 30 6 of course, conceived and developed as a uh, combat cartridge. Yep. 270 win, totally, totally conceived as a, as a peaceful hunting cartridge. We're talking about what kind of game either of these rounds for. Now, I often hear the 270 is, is great for, for a larger game. You'll definitely mm-hmm. hear about elk hunters and moose hunters saying the 270 can be used to take those larger critters. 30 out six you don't really hear uh associated with moose hunting at least that much and i'm wondering if if there's a, a significant power difference there's a bit actually and uh i want to touch on on the whole moose thing it's interesting because you know we've talked about you know how like you can take a bear with a 22 long rifle and you know of course you can it's not yeah. necessarily the best choice i do know a lot of uh you know state and local territories have a minimum power requirement uh, for moose hunting. And I know that the 270 doesn't actually typically meet that requirement. The 30 6 actually is technically more powerful. It's got about four or 500 foot-pounds extra muzzle energy compared to uh, the 270 if you're comparing similar bullets. Like, uh, there is some overlap uh, in the weight that these uh, these cartridges can fire. Uh, like, right around the 150 grain range is pretty popular. Uh, for the 270, we're looking at about 2,700 foot-pounds compared to about 3150 uh, for the 30 out 6 So, you know, 30-06 is definitely packing uh, a little bit more energy at the muzzle than the 270. Excellent. So, so the 30 out 6 still capable of putting down Rocky. It definitely or, can. No, I'm sorry, Bullwinkle. No, oh, yeah, it definitely what am I can. Talking about? It can take down Rocky too. Both of them can. And I think what separates the 270 and the 30 out 6 uh, at least something that, that Jack hit on a lot was the penetration ability. Uh, the penetration on the 270 is incredible, uh, you know, for the bullet weight that it offers. And it's really kind of in that sweet spot. That 0.277 inch diameter cartridge really penetrates well and it, it focuses all of that force into a smaller area, into a smaller cross sectional area on the front and it really penetrates deep. And I think that's one of the reasons why people have had success with it on larger game. For, you know, 30-06 or 30 caliber, 0.308, and, you know, 270 or 0.277 caliber, pretty close. 270 is slightly better, uh, but, uh, you know, that 30 caliber bullet can definitely get the job done. I think we've seen that uh, time and time again. Has it been uh, enhanced very much in that time? Because... I know modern 30 6 hunting loads are more powerful than what would have been issued to uh, 
the fellas during the World Wars. You're absolutely right. Modern 30-06 hunting rounds are going to be more powerful than your typical GI 150 grain issue, you know, full metal jacket rounds. The modern 270 against M2 ball, there really is no competition. The 270 is going to outperform every time. But, uh, you know, the more modern hunting ammunition, I mean, even the stuff they had back in the 60s versus 270, going to be fairly comparable uh, in terms of power. 30 out 6 is going to be a little bit more uh, just because you're firing that heavier bullet. Uh, you can fire up to, I think, 220 grains. Uh, on a 30 out 6 where for the 270 you're kind of capping out right around that 150 grain range and that in my mind is one of the limiting factors of the 270 because you know that that 30 out 6 lets you fire those bigger heavier bullets that are really devastating on large game like elk and moose and I would imagine those heavier bullets offer greater long-range accuracy. Absolutely. Those heavier bullets will definitely have higher ballistic coefficient and, you know, stretch your range out a bit longer. So right away, we're kind of seeing a trade-off because the 270's narrower bullet poses a greater sectional density and therefore mm -hmm. deeper penetration. But the but the 30 odd sixes heavier bullet means greater wind resistance at longer ranges. Absolutely, and another trade-off is gonna be the recoil impulse. Now, a lot of people describe the recoil of these two cartridges differently. Now, uh, one thing you need to remember is the the 270 Winchester and the 30 odd six came from the same parent case, which is the 30 odd three which was the predecessor to the 30-06. What they did was they necked down a 30-03 case to take a 277 bullet. So you're cramming like the same amount of powder in there, but it's a smaller bullet, so it's a higher pressure. What happens is people often report like a 270 is more like a snap uh, type of recoil. It's a very snappy, whereas a two or a 30 6 excuse me, is more of like a rolling recoil, like a push. That being... That being said, the 30 6 has more recoil in general. Usually around the 25 foot-pound uh, range is what it averages out to be. 270, though not a huge difference, is a little bit lighter, right around 20 foot-pounds. It is the trade-off, uh, and, and it, it comes down to, you know, really, what do you want to hunt? There comes questions of, you know, ethics, hunting elk and hunting moose. I think most of the hunting community would agree that the 270 is enough for an elk if your shot placement is appropriate. And that lower recoil usually helps people be a little bit more accurate. Yeah, 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 you don't flinch as much before you pull mm -hmm. the trigger. Who knows, you may even wanna squeeze off a follow-up. It really comes down to shot placement, guys, in my opinion, especially when we're talking big game hunting, uh, because really the only way you're gonna drop it in its tracks is if you if you spine the poor thing or hit it in the, uh, you know, the central nervous system. And uh, I feel like this goes without saying when we're talking about two rounds like these, but I'm going to say it anyway. Mm -hmm. Both both dumb choices for home defense. Yeah, uh, I have to agree with you completely on that one, Dave. These are just too powerful. If you want to talk about cartridge versatility, even the great proponent of the 270 himself admitted that the 30 6 was the more versatile cartridge because you can fire so many different bullet weights on there. If you want to do varmint hunting, though, I wouldn't really recommend it with a 30 6 There are lighter weight rounds that you can do it with, such as like a 125 grain. Uh, it would work, well, incredibly well, probably a little bit too well, uh, in my opinion, but you could do it. The 30 6 gives you a lot of that versatility. Now, that being said, the 270 offers quite a lot of different bullet weights as well. Let me see. I think you can go down to, you know, right around 100 grains, uh, which is pretty darn light, uh, and, you know, that definitely is a great varmint round as well. But, you know, if, if you made me pick one cartridge, like what's going to be the, the best one for that can cover the most area as far as your shooting needs are going to be concerned, it's got to be the 30 out 6 Touching on a, a subject some people overlook when they're just buying their first hunting rifle, which is ammo availability. Ah, yeah. And we got to underscore that you're going to have an easier time finding 30 out 6 ammo, and mm -hmm. you're going to find a much greater variety of 30 out 6 while you're at it you can find 30-06 everywhere any online ammo place is going to have it but you should only be shopping at ammo.com just so you know because we've got the best prices out there for you uh, but you're going to find it everywhere but 270 is going to be a little bit more difficult to find i'd say it's it's still incredibly popular so dave let's wrap it up here i think we've covered a lot of bases on 30-06 and 270 uh what are your feelings on these two which one do you like better well, listen, I got nothing negative to say about the 270 win. And I think you see where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, ammo availability is huge to me, especially okay. after you know the events over the past two and a half years. Mm -hmm. You see how frustrating it is when the manufacturers just aren't dedicating their limited supplies of raw materials towards producing your favorite round of ammunition. For that reason alone, I would I would go to the 30 out six, but its versatility and its heritage, and the uh, I would say far greater number of rifles chambered for it, just all make it a more versatile pick to me. I'm a 30 out six believer. Fair enough. You know, I, I, I kind of have to echo that, but I do want to add this one caveat. You know, before uh, the events of this year, and I'll kind of touch on that in a second, I would say from a reloading standpoint, and I know we didn't talk about this, 30 out 6 is going to be way easier to do. Uh, there are so many loads, so many bullets out there, and I my big critique would be on the, the bullet availability for the .277. That being said, if you've been keeping up on current events, the U.S. military just adopted a brand new cartridge and a brand new squad rifle in the 277 Fury. Now we may see more 277 cartridges hit the market. It's yet to be seen how popular it will be, but I will say it's a good thing for the cartridge itself. But I have to agree with you, my pick is still the 30-06. I know that we're always like, oh, buy both, you know, just get both. And yeah, I can agree with that, but if I'm going to have to pick one, I'm going with the 30-06. I understand it has a little bit more recoil. Uh, it's an older cartridge, but it just works. And I think that's really the most important thing when you're, you know, you're look, evaluating a cartridge, like can it do what you want it to do? And the answer for the 30-06 is absolutely and it's been doing it for over a hundred years. There's a lot of heritage there. There's a lot of uh, real life data, as, as some people would say. And uh, it, it just gets the job done. And, and as you said, Dave, you can get this ammo everywhere. And if you need to get ammo, the only place to do is at ammo.com. Guys, make sure you click that link down in the subscription, get your free $20 off coupon, and we'll see you out on the range. <laughs>